Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 115, Ending Relationship Addiction, and let's talk about intermittent reinforcement, and that's how it all happens. Remember, I mentioned in the last chapter that intermittent reinforcement is why it's so hard to leave. We are emotionally bonded to this relationship, and the narcissist knows it. It's our weakness and their strength. It's how they remain in control. It's how they manipulate. But also, we got addicted to this looping pattern of trying to create consistency with an inconsistent partner. And what has really reinforced this is the childhood programming that's trained us to play this part in life and normalize the role that we play in these relationships. Intermittent reinforcement. This is what creates relationship addiction. It is abuse mixed with periodic attention and affection. It confuses, disorients, and entraps victims so they are unable to see abusers clearly and respond appropriately. Now, arguably, relationship addiction can be so strong that codependents and empaths may suffer from obsessive thinking about their ex. For example, they keep seeing synchronicities. I've heard this before with my clients who have come to me saying, oh my gosh, I keep seeing 1111 or 1111. You've heard it. <laughs> um, I never saw that, by the way. But um, I've seen other things, like I keep seeing their name pop up, their first name, their last name. It's really bizarre stuff. It almost seems like you're getting a message from God or the universe. And then you start thinking that it means something spiritual. It could be. But, you know, it could also be that there's a repeated tape going on in your head. Like, let's say your ex's name is Brad and you keep hearing Brad over and over again. Brad this, Brad that, you keep going back and forth in your head. He said this, she said that, he said blah, 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 blah. It's just on and on and on and on and on. Um, you see, this can go on indefinitely, okay? So it's obsessive thinking that comes up. And when you start thinking that you're seeing synchronicities, which I'm, I'm not going to downplay because I've been there, done that too. Um, yeah, you could think that there's something, some psychic or spiritual connection between the two of you that's prompting you to reconnect and rekindle your relationship, particularly if an empath. But you may also be picking up on something in the ethers and then you start thinking in light of these apparent synchronicities, are they thinking of me? And if you start having dreams of them or sensing that they're going through difficulties as an empath, you might be picking up on something very real. However, it might also be your emotional body signaling to you, I'm alone, I'm lonely, my emotional needs are not being met. We really have to pay attention to this, but we've learned not to in childhood because we learn to falsely identify the narcissist as our source for getting those emotional needs met. You are trying to seek reconnection in these moments when what needs to happen is for you to focus on your needs, not theirs. Remind yourself of this truth. At best, they only met those needs inconsistently. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.